What is this chart? You may have seen this chart in our previous video about the glottal plosive, but what are all of these unorthodox pseudo-letter-looking things? Well, this chart represents the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA for short, made by the International Phonetics Association, or IPA for sure. Okay. That has to be intentional. This chart, believe it or not, contains almost every sound that can be made in any language. Let's look at a consonant phoneme first. Seem to recognize it? Exactly. This represents the letter K in English, making the K sound. How about a vowel? You may think this makes the I sound, as in mitten, but that's incorrect. It actually represents the E sound, like in meeting. For English speakers, vowels in the IPA can be very tricky. Vowels more closely align with spellings in Scandinavian and Romance languages. One of the other flaws of the IPA is that it's optimized for speakers of European languages, but not for speakers of other languages like Mandarin or Hindi, which use drastically different orthographies. This can make it hard to memorize IPA symbols for a speaker of one of these languages. And now you know.